My name is Dan Maletsko. I'm the greenhouse manager at uh, Eudora River Falls. I first got the corpse flower um, as a seed in 2001 in the fall. Um, I basically um, it just started off as a so one little foot little seedling. Um, and uh, for the first eight years, I've just known it as uh, just a single solitary leaf coming out of, of corn. And um, every year it would go ahead and share its, shed its leaf. It would go dormant for um, one or two months. And then um, it uh, would go ahead and regenerate a new leaf. This year, um, Jeff decided to go ahead and surprise us and uh, produce a uh, new flower, um, which is kind of rare because it's only nine years old. Uh, typically, they don't flower until they're uh, typically 15, 20 years old. Um, so I was, uh, I was totally caught off guard. Um, I went and contacted uh, the, my, my uh, supervisors to go ahead and said if I can go ahead and do uh, a little bit of publicity uh, for the flower and um, uh, yeah then that, that definitely got the ball ball rolling um, try to go ahead and get a new web page got up we got the live streaming web so people can go ahead and uh, you know keep track of, of its progress uh, which was a, a very good success I got a lot of good comments about that it's, uh, it's been kind of a, a very busy three weeks um, since I knew it was going to actually uh, be a flower, not a typical leaf. Um, but yeah, I definitely love the, you know, the, the uh, attention that we can go ahead and give to the particular flower. Um, it is kind of a rare flower and um, it's just one of those things that we just don't want to go ahead and lose in the environment. So it's uh, try to go ahead and educate people about, about the plant and the biology and, and all that just so everyone's kind of, you know, in tune and, and uh, know, you know, kind of the, the rarity of the, of the particular plant.